Now that we have estimated the quantity for the grade beam 1, it's now time to estimate the cost of that grade beam 1. So let's go to our uh, course website, we'll look under cost reference, and we will see if we can find some cost data that can help us with these foundations. So as we go and scroll down, we find there is one here that's called foundation cost data. We can open that file and then uh, we see that this uh, foundation cost data has a section here for continuous footings. Uh, these are called strip footings. This one, as we can read, it says includes excavation, hand trim, all forms needed for footing uh, placement, uh, forms for 2 inch by 6 inch, keyway for 4 uses dowels and 3000 psi concrete the footing size requires varies uh, for different soils soils bearing capacities are listed for 3 ksf and 6 ksf depth of the system range from 8 to 24 with a range from 16 to 96 smaller strip footings may not require reinforcement please see the reference section for further design and cost information so this one here, the first one that we get, the first system component, this is a, a system component, includes the footing, hand trim, formwork, reinforcing, concrete, placing the concrete and um, screened uh, finish. So it includes uh, almost everything that we need in order to place that uh, concrete footing over there. So we have all of these components measured together and priced per linear foot. So we have uh, 1457 in materials per linear foot that includes the cost of the concrete, the cost of the rebar, and the cost of the forms. Okay, so now uh, if we scroll down, we see that there are different sizes of these strip footings for different load capacities and uh, so on. Our uh, strip footing, uh, if we remember correctly uh, from drawing uh, S6, this says this is an 18 by 24 grade beam. So when we look at our uh, cost uh, source, we see that uh, in here we have 24 by 12, we have 24 by 8, 16 by 8. We don't have exactly 18 by 24. So what we can do is we can find the closest one to what we need. Uh, 18 inches by 24 inches will give us a cross section of uh, 432 square feet, uh, square inches. So if we look here, 16 by 8, that will be too small. 16 by 8 is 128, so that's too small. If we go down uh, 24 by 12, it's uh, 288, so that's still too small. 32 by 12, it's uh, 384, so that's still uh, too small. Then we get here at uh, 40 by 12, which is uh, 480. Uh, remember, 18 by 24, which is what we're looking, is 432. So 480 is uh, slightly uh, bigger than what we actually need. However, we we have a uh, reinforcement on the both uh, on the bottom and on top. This here uh, it looks like it, it, the reinforcement it's only on the bottom of the uh, footing. So you know I, I wouldn't be too concerned about going with a slider. Uh, bigger uh, footing and uh, use the cost that we have for the 40 by 12 even though it's a little bit bigger than what we actually need. So I'm going to go ahead and use these numbers. I'm going to use $21 per linear feet in materials and uh, $25 per linear feet in uh, installation for a total cost of 46 We'll go to our uh, general estimating template again. We we'll go to our S means table. We'll go to the uh, division three concrete that we have, and now we're going to add here. I'm going to add a um, continuous footing 
GB1. Okay, the crew that we need for this, uh, again, it's not really necessary to enter that information. This book uh, has a different format, so it does not give us the, uh, the, the, the crew and the yield uh, for the installation. It only tells us what is the cost uh, per linear feed. So we're just going to enter the cost per linear feed as we have 21 in materials, 25 in uh, labor. So material will be 21, labor will be 25. Uh, we do not have a cost here in equipment, or at least it's not listed uh, specifically. So inside that cost for the installation, we assume that they have all the uh, equipment that we need. Now, uh, we need to enter the quantity of uh, work. Uh, the quantity of work is the amount that we have measured from on-screen takeoff. So that information is on the OST tab uh, in here under quantity one for GB1. So this is the number that we would like to enter. So rather than enter uh, 145 in here, uh, as uh, I would uh, normally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reference the cell that contains the on-screen takeoff information by using the equal sign and then going to the OST tab and selecting the 145 linear feet. The reason that I am doing this is because I could continue doing some takeoff in on-screen takeoff and then uh, when I copy and paste the information here it will be automatically updated rather than me entering uh, by hand every single time. So I will press enter and now uh, Excel registers 145 as the uh, quantity of work for the continuous footing GB1. Now I'm going to use the uh, waste factor here. I'm going to add a 10% uh, waste factor only because uh, when you pour concrete in a foundation, it's usually we have some uh, loss of concrete. So I'm going to add a 10% uh, waste factor for the purpose of this uh, demonstration. So now the cost uh, that we have for this continuous footing so far is $6,974. The code that we should use here is uh, the code for the strip footing that we selected. So that number is going to be A1010, A1010, uh, A then followed by 110, followed by 110, and followed by the last numbers, which is going to be uh, 3500. Uh, for the purpose of this example, 3,500. So that's the line item uh, for continuous footing GB1. Uh, this has a cost of 21 in material, 25 on labor per linear feet. I forgot to put that here, so I'm going to just type linear feet. And now I am done estimating that portion of the uh, linear footing. Now, suppose that uh, I, I go back to on-screen takeoff and I do a little bit more estimating. So I go to my uh, S1 here and I'm just going to add uh, some more quantity. Uh, so I will choose the GB1 that I've been using. I go into estimating mode here, takeoff mode. And then I just uh, start uh, doing uh, additional takeoff from me my uh, GB1 uh, condition. So now that I have uh, increased the takeoff, see it has gone to 243. If I want to update my Excel file, all I have to do is just go to the takeoff tab, select GB1 that I uh, have uh, recently updated, copy that and paste that on the OST tab on on-screen takeoff. So when I paste that, uh, the 243 is now updated. And when I go to the Division 3 Concrete tab, now it reflects the latest takeoff that I have done. 
This concludes the explanation on how to estimate the uh, foundations. I urge you to continue your work. Go on the um, estimate for this foundation and continue GB1 until you have covered all uh, GB1 uh, on extents.